All right, the next one comes from Bev. She says, hey, Bo, I'm working on purchasing a franchise. I really don't want to go with SBA financing because I don't want to get a lien on my investment properties. What other financing options do I have? Thanks. All right, so um, so basically, if you're doing a QSR or, or some kind of you know physical location where there's like a build out and most of it's like you're doing some TIs and you need equipment, we actually have equipment finance companies that specialize within the franchise niche and they'll they'll finance all the the equipment and the build out and up to 25 percent typically of like soft costs like contractor fees and stuff so a lot of times we can wrap that up with just equipment finance type of transactions as opposed to going down the rabbit hole of doing sba because like you know you have a lot of equity in these properties these rental properties these primary residents and you don't you know that you're gonna if, if you go sba they're gonna put a lien on the property right so obviously even if you had to come in with a little bit more capital, equipment finance might be a better solution. Because if you if you have a bunch of equity, they're gonna they're gonna put a lien on that those properties because there's a collateral shortfall. So when we say collateral shortfall, is they have a face value amount, like even if that that piece of equipment is a hundred thousand dollars brand new and you have it in there, they're only gonna they're gonna only give it like twenty five percent value. On, on real estate, they'll use 85% of the stabilized value. So they have a basic like a fire sale number that they use. So whatever that difference is, is a collateral shortfall. And that's when they're going to go look for additional collateral. And that's part of SBA. You can't get around it. So equipment finance deal might be the best option for you. You can uh, definitely book a call below. We can discuss. We have lots of different options. We can get creative. There's a lot of unsecured term loans you can do. There's just a lot of ways you might have a retirement account that from a previous employer that can be rolled into a Rob's plan. So anyways, hope that helped. Love to chat. Hello, Bo Eckstein here, host of the Investor Financing Podcast. Are you a lender, real estate professional, or vendor that provides products or services within the real estate investing and business owner space? We are offering a few sponsorship opportunities to get in front of a highly targeted audience. If you're interested, please click the link below for further information. We look forward to talking with you. Thanks. Make it a great day. Hey guys, Bo Exine here. If you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe to this channel. We talk all things financing. I've been in the lending industry for over 20 years and I'm happy to answer your questions and provide great content.